What is going on, Internet? Eric Van Holtz back again with another awesome video from Beard Brain Alliance. Hope all's going well on the other side of the Internet. You know what? I hate losers. Yeah, they're losers, and I just hate them. And I uh, want to make sure that you're not a loser. want to make sure I'm not a loser. Let's talk about it. A loser, it's it's a pretty pretty rough word, you know, calling someone a loser is a pretty, uh, you know, it's not a positive thing. I'm kind of okay calling people losers because it's also not a permanent situation. Uh, just because what you're doing today falls into the loser category doesn't mean you're always going to be a loser. In fact, there are many times throughout my life where I was a loser, I was doing loser things, and frankly, I, I had to, had to get my ship together, get my boat going, and get in the right direction and out of Loserville. I've got six surefire signs you're a loser. You do these six things, you're automatically dead to me. I don't want to be around you. I don't care who you are. You're a loser. Gone. So don't do these things. Number one, you don't keep your commitments. Yeah, that's, uh, you say you're going to do something, then you don't do it. I, I have absolutely no tolerance for that. I understand that maybe you want to please people and uh, maybe there are some uh, circumstances that have happened that are outside your control that affect why you're doing this. But if I see anybody who has a history of not keeping their commitments, I just, I, I no longer trust them anymore. If you can't commit to what you say you're going to do, I just don't want you in my life. I ain't got time for that. Either you say you're going to do something, you deliver, or you tell them you can't do it. And you, and, and you say why, and you come up with a solution for being able to accomplish something uh, that you can commit to. Because, uh, I don't know, it's just something losers do. They don't keep their commitment. Loser number two, uh, you don't respect other people's boundaries, and you also don't respect your own boundaries. This is the type of guy who, uh, you know, their significant other cheats on them, and... Uh, because they don't have the self-confidence in themselves, they uh, let that person keep on cheating on them. You gotta have boundaries, man. Don't let people screw you. Don't let people take your money. Hold your boundaries. And, and kick those people out of your life who are taking advantage of you. Subsequently, you know, if you're not respecting other people's uh, boundaries, you're a loser. Total loser. Respect others. It's pretty simple. Quit being a loser. Loser activity number three, or uh, I should say lack of activity. Losers don't have a vision in life. You know, they're just kind of being told what to do. They're the sheep of society. You know, society tells them to do this and they do, 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 do. Okay, and then now society says you do this and they're like do, 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 do. You know, like you only have one life. You only have, you know, at best uh, 95 years on this planet. Um, you know, and only about 70 of those years where you're totally autonomous. You know, you're not under the, 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 the nice roof of your parents. What are you doing with your life? What are you doing? You're just going to let someone else dictate it. You're going to let, you're going to ride around and, you know, let your partner kind of tell you how to do things. You're not in control. You're not in command. You're not steering the ship. You got to have vision in your life. And I really can't tolerate being around people who are just kind of floating around aimlessly in life. Holy shit, you only have so many years on this life. You have to do the things that you want to do. You have to. This is it. When you're dead, you're dead. There's no do-overs. Figure out what you want in life and start on that pathway. It doesn't mean you have to be doing the exact thing that you want to be doing, but you have to be on the path where you have to be doing the things now that will help you get to where you want to go. And if you're not doing that, man, you're a loser. Straight up loser. Get that vision going. You only got one life. Boom. Losers, number four. I hate this. You take more than you give. You take more than you give, whether it be emotional, physical, you know, you're taking money, you're not paying it forward, you know, the whole like negative karma thing. It's it's true. Like you're a total loserville. Anybody who is a mooch, uh, you know, you're freeloader, you're living off of society, uh, when you have the means uh, to be independent, uh, when you have the means to, to give, um, it's a loser thing. Now, obviously, there are always cases where people are at a disadvantage, mentally dis 
disabled, physically disabled. I'm not talking about those people, okay? This video is for people who are, quote unquote, normal people, people who have average intelligence, people who should be doing things with their life. They shouldn't be sucking off the teat of others. Number five, big losers. They're liars. I hate liars. I mean, this kind of goes back to doing what you say you're gonna do. Is that a lie? You know, maybe an omission of truth or an uh, inability to forecast your, your own abilities is not quite a lie, but someone who's a pathological liar, you're, you're a loser. I, I've been around a couple of them in my life and uh, I have absolutely no respect for those people at all. If you lie for whatever reason, um, I, frankly, I'm just not gonna be around you. Like I cannot tolerate being around liars. I'm I'm up, you know. I'm honest to a fault. I would much rather you you know tell me I got a booger hanging out my nose than um, telling me I look great and a giant booger's hanging out. Cause I mean, what's the point? Why are you lying to me? My ego's not fragile. I can handle it. Quit lying. You're making the world worse. All right, number six, last one. Biggest thing that losers do is you don't respect your own body. This kind of goes back to. Uh, not having vision for your life, but you only have one life. You only have one machine to take you around uh, this world. And if this machine starts breaking down, even though it's it's still good up here, what good is it? What good is it? You have to respect your body. You have to, you know, put in the physical adversity to keep it strong and healthy. You have to put good food into your body. Okay. You cannot disrespect your body. And I see it more now than I've seen it throughout life. I know the challenges. I know it's hard out there. I know like conveniences out there. We're built around a car culture here in America. It's much easier if you live in the city to walk everywhere. Walking is a fantastic way to, to take care of your, your machine that you're in. But I really, I, I really, have a high disrespect for people who are, do not respect their own body. And that's what you're doing when you're putting junk in, when you're not exercising, you're doing what a loser does. You've got to m make sure this machine can keep you going strong. There are a lot of ways uh, to take care of your body and your body doesn't have to look like a Greek god. I, I'm, I, there, if you're putting good food in, in the appropriate portions, real meats, real vegetables, and you're exercising, getting your heart rate up, challenging your muscles, lifting heavy things. The outcomes are the outcomes. You have to be okay with those. You know, I'm not trying to say everyone needs to look like, you know, Greg Brzezinski, uh, like a Greek god. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the input's gotta be good. But if we're not putting in the right inputs, it's okay to say like, hey, I didn't put in the right food inputs. I got a little bit of gut I shouldn't have. Okay, I can fix that though. Uh, just because I'm a loser now doesn't mean I'm a loser permanently. I can adjust that. Now I'm doing this video on being a loser because I want to like open up a little bit and just say like, I've been making beard videos for 10 years. It's been a long time. I've said all you can say about growing a beard, but I, I just don't feel energized to talk about the same beard tips over and over again. And we wanna keep it new, we wanna keep it fresh. And I wanna tell you, I enjoy encouraging guys to improve. I, I enjoy self-improvement. And to me, self-improvement obviously is physical adversity, mental adversity, and then uh, you know financial wellness. Uh, some of you guys may not know, but I have a, a podcast called E-Commerce Conversations. There I talk about one of my passions, which is business and entrepreneurship and e-commerce, of course. So if you wanna consume more content that I produce, I do a weekly show there, e-commerce conversations. I think the days of me creating a ton of, uh, you know, like beard tutorials, beard tips are kinda over. Um, you know, maybe on occasion if I'm doing something special, growing my hair out, shaving my beard off, something like that, we'll do some content around that. But, you know, it's kinda time for me to to create the kind of content that I enjoy that I feel like I can do for the next 10 years. If that upsets you, I'm sorry. I gotta do what I gotta do. And um, hopefully, uh, you know, you're not a loser. And, or if you are a loser, hopefully it's temporary and you're working to get out of it. I know one of the biggest things where I was a loser is I kind of let society dictate to me the type of person that I should be. 
you know, the kind of roles that I should do, the kind of jobs I should have, the kind of food I should eat, the kind of, you know, exercise I should do, the kind of roles I should be in for a marriage. Um, you know, like you should do the roles that you feel comfortable with, that you enjoy. And uh, if they are in line with society, cool. And if they're not, cool. If you gotta go your own way, stick to that vision. It's not always easy. There's a lot of pressure. But by God, you can do it because you're not a loser. All right, boys. As always, thanks for watching. Cheers. Keep on growing. And the girls out there that watch these videos, keep on growing too. Hey, I'm Mark. I think that Beard Brand Products and the Beard Brand Mission, they've really helped me kind of wear my beard and present it to the world in a way that, honestly, for the first time in my life, like, kind of makes me feel kind of handsome. You know, sometimes. But anyway, thanks, guys.